veteran presence that they're really excited to have back. Here's Kalsher. Jefferson defending him. Kalsher drives the paint, and that one is up and in. The Gophers are on the board. That's, you can see this new role that Carr has taken. He's like the, re, the true one leader of this team now. Liam Robbins with the slam. Well, with this uh, high-powered offenses that we're seeing now, both in college and the professionals, you, and the importance of a three-pointer, having a big man that can shoot threes is really important, and that's what got to steal here. Omersa up, and that one won't go, but Brandon Johnson with the putback, and it's going to be a timeout. Much here, but Phoenix is going to have to kick it into gear if they're going to want to stay in this game. They're already in danger of letting it slip away. Well, these two teams might be strangers, but... Uh, Wow. Marcus Carr, it's a Jarvis Omersa for the alley -oop. We saw that a few times last year. Deficit, now the lead is back down to 18 for Minnesota, but Justin Joss Jefferson really doing a nice job of sparking this offense in the second half here. Marcus Carr, he's gonna go all the way to the left side of the court and come off this dribble handoff. Now Good on the move. drive, Good into the move. lane, he's got it. Flow hasn't been working, you get Marcus Carr going with his strong hand. Nice little slithery step over and a finish and one. Yeah, and, and, and Douglas, you know, he reached in just here. If they want to fix that record, they're going to have to find a way to win away from their home court in Minnesota. Omersa! Jarvis Omersa on the alley-oop, and then I believe a technical is going to be called at the end for hanging on the rim. Slams it home, but then slaps the backboard and gets the tee. Pepe can't convert. He was the leading scorer with 11 points at the half for the Lions, by the way. Runner, runner, around it falls, and an and one. Opportunity for Marcus Carr, and look out. Here comes the gopher point guard. Maybe the best guard in the Big Ten right here at drawing the contact. And look at that concentration on the finish. Right there, gets the contact, goes off glass. He keeps his eyes on the rim. Resume in action here in the second half and the first possession. Minnesota rips it away. Here we go. High fly and finish. Omersa. Auto owner's insurance. Great job by Trey Williams coming up with the steal. Kicks it ahead. And just a beautiful lead pass. To set up Jarvis Omersa, what he does posing coaches in the West Coast Conference this season. Omersa. Sensing that the shot goes up, look at the beautiful timing. Oh. Poster size. Gets to the rim and does what he does best. Hustle, energy, effort. And here's the big man, Liam Robbins. Nice jump hook. 12 seasons in the NBA. I just love watching how explosive he was. And he was outstanding. Marcus Carr penetration gives Minnesota a one-point lead. He really takes out of these guys the first few minutes, but I think they're going to they're start to settle in. Um, you're starting to see guys get a little more involved in the paint, like that drive right there. That was nice. A great take by Mashburn Jr. Nice action right there. Simple two-man basketball penetration draws the defense in. The bucket for Robbins. He'll go to the free throw line for the end one. He's doing an excellent job of getting position early and doing his work early. I think he got a an early uh, tap into uh, bucket for Pitts. There was four seconds on the shot clock. And falling down. How did he make that? Trey Williams, the circus shot. You see how athletic he is. Splits. Still has the presence of mind to get the ball up. That one's gonna hurt tomorrow. One shot. Dribble drive. Kelsher. Feed Robbins. And the big time flush by the big guy. Gave off the bounce. Draws it after the defender. Robbins slides. That's why I mentioned that they may have to win this basketball game at the free throw line. Catch and shoot. Score it. For Gotch. Take the photo for the poster right there. That's correct. Eight of nine, as you saw a moment ago from outside the arc for Johnson in that win over Iowa. Four of them in overtime. 
Liam Robbins, though, he hit the three earlier, and now he's looking for the old-fashioned three-point play as he backs down Joey Hauser. Well, coming, Josh Langford trying to dig, but really just too big for Joey Hauser. Gets contact, goes to that right hook. He's still certainly trying to figure out what his role is and how he's going to play the point guard position, but they need him to score as well. There is nothing easy for Michigan State right now on that end. Kalsher just taking Henry off the bounce. Count the bucket and the foul. It's 28 to 11. Knowing your personnel. This is a guy that is really struggling to shoot the basketball. And I'm not saying you should disrespect him as a shoot. Now it's Johnson. Four to shoot. Kalsher got to put it up. Fading. Yes. Boy, that, that might be Michigan State's best defensive possession of the night because it's not going to get any easier. Every night in this league is a monster. And here's Marcus Carr wow. taking it to the basket. What a tough finish. Give him 16. Getting his game on. Going to work. Showing off the total package. How about a little English on this finish? The Minnesota bench and also Marcus Carr. Five points today. Robbins with the spin on four. Count the bucket and a foul. We'll send Robbins to the line for a chance at a three-point play. At the ground, he ends up covering here. Starts with the Big Ten logo, gets all the way to the basket, uses his length. DJ, is it EJ Liddell? Oh, oh, catch! What a start! He certainly found it with this flush. No better shot percentage than to slam it home. Oh, right there, hometown boy. Right there. This is all fair game. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good sport about it. Oh, <laughs> Marcus Carr somehow getting that one to fall. Well, the one undisputable thing, Lisa, is that Marcus Carr will be on the first team all Big Ten. And he should have been in consideration in the preseason as one of the best point guards in the country. Three to shoot. Entry to Freeman. Freeman trying to get it going, and he does against Hunter Dickinson, and Freeman with the left hand. And twice now he hasn't been able to get back. No fault of his own, the fault of injury. I was just going to say the same thing, not at all his fault, as Carr scores against Davis. And, and you see the uh, double hurt them badly, turnover Davis. Now Johnson works and it scores. We gotta get more twos. We've taken the most threes in the Big Ten and we're one of the worst three-point shooting teams in the Big Ten. Why are we doing this? And they have found the rim. Robbins is stuff. Jump over people. And I'll tell you what, Marcus Carr, he gets 10 assists. And now he's got a steal. Jackson tried to spike it ahead and a high-risk play leads to a turnover. Robbins goes the lane, take that. Yeah, Minnesota's got to find a way to get the offense to match the defensive stops. There is Johnson able to muscle it down and draw the foul. <laughs> Again, penetration and then a good job of finding the open man. Wiggins commits. 33-26, uh, Purdue will certainly take it as Thompson did a good job knocking down the free throws. And now Robbins gets free. It's to win. This is what he does well. Takes the double team, finds the open man. Kalsher on the baseline. And count the basket. Took him to the basket. Just simple. One pass, move the defense. Yeah, eight years for Richard yeah. Pitino. Seems like it has just kind of flown by. Here's Carr now. Nebraska came out of that in a zone. Count the basket didn't there make for any Carr. difference to Marcus Carr. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he is so good at getting to his strong hands. Cashburn wanted his shot. He knocked it down. And a whistle comes as well. So Jamal Mashburn Jr. makes it a five-point lead. Jamal Mashburn Jr. does not lack confidence. And he loves to get to his mid-range jumper, pull up. Car drives, looking for a foul. Didn't get it, but hit a tough shot. Yeah, he's going to have to really... Ignite this team with his creativity. Continue to track the turnovers here for Indiana. They had 15 last game against Ohio State. Hey. Nice take. Jamal Mashburn Jr., the young fresh. Well, he's been coming for a while. And what I mean by that, he's been getting more and more confident. 
When he started this season, he would typically just settle for three-point shots. But he's already has one foul, and that's an issue for him. Foul trouble all season long. Carr stepping back and hitting a tough jumper over Rob Fettis. Here we go again. Car time late in the shot clock. That's a two, but he oh, hits it. Man. Very happy with his son's progress thus far as a gopher. The other way, great drop off, and Isaiah Enan throws it down. Be interesting to see how long Coach, well, great steal there. That's, that, that, that's what Coach is talking about. Oh, Robbins, this is a tough one for him. Uh, I'm sure he trusts Robbins, or he trusts uh, Brandon Johnson, or he wouldn't have done it. And now Johnson on the other end throws down the jam, and Chris Collins is furious. 6'8", 235, and even though his numbers only say four points and four rebounds, he means a lot to this team. There's his defensive presence again. But the putback slam, Brandon Johnson hanging on the rim. Don't expect Minnesota to live off the jump shot anymore. They're going to drive it a lot would be what I would think. Johnson taking his frustration out on the rim. That turns into a five-point swing. Well, good out-of-bounds play, too. He runs. They try and switch out. One strong dribble, land on two, send it home. Chicago native, Western Michigan. Hera tipped away. Good hands underneath by Curry. Push ahead to Williams. Williams driving to the rim. Count the bucket and a foul run by Williams. Gets him a chance at three. Look how easy he gets to the rim. One hand, takes the bump. Concentration. Nice job by Williams. Either team can seem to really get on track here offensively. And either team is led by more than two points. This could be another lead change. How did he flip that up? Booth Gotch. That's how you're supposed to get, guys. Shoots the gap, comes up with the steal. Geo Baker, I mean, got it good. That's how you're supposed to foul, trying to keep the guy from scoring, but Booth Gotch with the strength. Of 10 from the line, so you know it's going to be a concerted effort to get something going toward the rim. Carr picks it up, drops it off. Johnson does the rest. That'll loosen the rim. <laughs> The conference in minutes played per ball game, very effective amongst the top five. Isaiah Enan, little take down from C.J. Walker. Gotch turns the corner, and Booth Gotch showing some good speed, gets to the hole for a two, and the first two for the Gophers. Wow. Let's open the door here, and Lucas. Oh, that was nice. nice. Bake and Carr all the way to the rim. That was pretty. That was nice. <laughs> You're gonna see him here. Brown is a bigger defender, so he's like, you know what? I'm gonna bother this shot. As soon as he leaves his feet, look at the up fake. Very subtle. Crossover. I'm at the rim. I, I like Zed Key. I think he's going to have a really good career. Tough, solid competitor. There's an alley-oop. Carr to Johnson. And the Gophers taking a page out of the Buckeyes playbook.